In less than five minutes, the test is complete. Any amount of time on the market today can be checked just as easily. Now we will demonstrate how to operate the system manually when magnetometers fail the automatic test to figure out just how far out of calibration they are. As always, the first step is aligning the magnetometer. This style of magnetometer is far more difficult to align as we only have two points for alignment, the end of the scales. First, we test the system in automatic mode and see what happens. When the system is in automatic mode, the laser comes on again so we can verify the meter is properly aligned before recording the results. The first set point shows the meter is out of calibration. It only takes 5 gauss inside the coil for the magnetometer to read 10 gauss. At 10 gauss, the meter is off the scale. At 20 gauss, the magnetometer movement can go no further. It's pegged. The power supply now will reverse polarities. Again, we see the magnetometer appears to be off about two times. To figure out exactly how much air the magnetometer has, we will switch to manual mode, adjusting the output power which changes the magnetic field in the coil. This meter is far too sensitive, showing 4 gauss at only 2.24 gauss in the coil. The magnetometer reads 10 gauss, but the coil is only creating 4.58 gauss. Again, we see the magnetometer appears to be off about two times. Now we check the negative polarity. And we can see it has similar results. Next, we check another commonly available magnetometer. We set the system on automatic and push the start button. At 4.99 gauss in the coil, the meter is pegged. So no useful readings can be made in automatic mode. Letting the system finish in automatic mode, the operator will switch to manual. While looking at the magnetometer, 
the operator adjusts the power till the magnetometer reads 4 gauss. The power supply reads only 0.71 gauss in the coil. At 10 gauss on the magnetometer, there is only 1.63 gauss of magnetic field being created. At 25 gauss, there is only 4.13 gauss in the coil. Reversing polarity, we check if we have linearity. At 1.06 gauss in the coil, the magnetometer reads almost 6 gauss. At 1.81 gauss in the coil, the magnetometer reads 10 gauss. At 4.96 gauss in the coil, the magnetometer reads 25 gauss. As we have seen, any magnetometer presently on the market can be checked and calibrated with this system in only a few minutes. The Magworks Automatic Helmholtz Calibration System, the new standard in calibrating handheld magnetometers.